Well, a shining example of Western New York working to help our neighbors in need for the holiday season, firing up its lights. Our Sydney Yore takes us to Lancaster, where the Stony Brook lights are now shining real bright. Well, Feppin, I can proudly say that we are officially walking in a winter wonderland. And I know you may still be digesting those Thanksgiving Day meals, but one neighborhood here in Lancaster is already lit up for the best time of year. What is your favorite Christmas decoration out in your yard right now? Santa. At Lancaster Stony Brook Quail Run Development, there's no such thing as too many lights, and there's no better way to end a Thanksgiving dinner. Kids tried everything, so that was a big win. <laughs> Even the Brussels sprouts. Uh, and after dinner, before we had dessert, we said we should take a walk and enjoy the beautiful neighborhood. And families have been enjoying Stony Brook's legendary light show for 15 years. It's great to have everybody together. Uh, the Bills won today. Go Bills! So that just makes everything all, all better. And it isn't just the lights that make the show so special. Each year, the neighborhood chooses a charity to donate to. We picked the Evan Wood Foundation and it's just amazing to see a whole neighborhood come together and work together. Over the last 14 years, we've done a lot of different charities and they've all benefited greatly from uh, the funds we've raised and, and stuff. And as I said earlier, we enjoy it. The Evan Wood Fund helps the Oshai Children's Hospital provide comfort and care to chronically ill children and their families. It's a rewarding outcome, especially after so much work. So I spent probably 12 hours on that Saturday and like 10 hours on that Sunday. Yeah, um, the longest process actually is windproofing it, um, but I didn't really snowproof it for it's November part two. And if you remember to bring a hat and gloves, neighbors say to view the show like this. If you come to see the lights in our neighborhood, walk it. It's so much better. You get to walk underneath the arches. Um, there's characters sometimes in the neighborhood that you get to meet. I just can't stress, come during the week if you can, because weekends it gets very, very busy. Uh, and, but you, we want to welcome everybody to this neighborhood and to Lancaster. And while getting these lights up just days after a snowstorm may have been a challenge, the message behind these head-turning displays is simple. It reminds us that uh, Christmas is not just about our family, but uh, the whole Buffalo community. If you'd like to give to the Evan Wood Fund while you're here, just keep an eye out for this donation box on Callian Drive. And they do have other ways that you can donate, and those can all be found at our website at WKBW.com. So, hey, happy holidays. In Lancaster, I'm Sydney, your 7 News.